I became a, a Saint Francis, a Franciscan Sister of Oldenburg, 37 years ago, and when when I was growing up, I always felt called to be a sister. I always wanted to do mission work, always, and I looked at Marinol, uh, who I was at, very attracted to. And I looked at other communities who I taught with, and it just didn't seem like a right fit until I went to Oldenburg. And the very first time that I drove through the gate, I felt, this is it, this is home. I hadn't even met a sister yet, but it was a very strong feeling. Um, it just was a connection, a spirit connection. And I remember saying to them uh, that weekend, it was a, a vocation weekend, I remember saying, I understand the process, the vocation process, but if you know this is where you're meant to be, can we up it a little more quickly? And their response was, well, we got to come to that knowing as well. So uh, it it's, it was a mutuality. So. 37 years, and my first, um, as a uh, temporary professed sister, my first ministry was teaching fourth grade at St. Francis Seraph School. Um, and I've been to Mexico, ran a, a clinic teaching women to be healthcare workers. I've been, just returned to Cincinnati a year ago from uh, the Northern Cheyenne Reservation. I um, was working at our mission called Prayer Lodge with uh, men and women from the Northern Cheyenne and Crow Reservation. And then prior to that, I was in Appalachia for nine years, um, working with the people in Eastern Kentucky. So I have been so blessed as a Franciscan to meet people of many cultures, and that, that continues to happen here at St. Francis Seraph Ministries. I've met uh, a woman who is um, from the Dakotas. She came here with a fella, and uh, she's a Sioux woman. Uh, I've met a man from Honduras. I've met a number of Latino people. Um, and something that most people don't know in meeting me is that I'm deaf in my left ear, and we have three guests that are deaf, a couple who are deaf, and then a, a young woman uh, who is deaf, who just got a job as a dishwasher. She's so excited. So I get to meet people of different cultures. Homelessness doesn't have one uh, stereotype of person, and um, it's a mescla of people, and I just feel very blessed that I've had these experiences as a Franciscan sister.